the EV market. Um, has the EV market flopped in light of recent attempts, or do you think it will make a comeback next year? Um, GM and Ford is having a hard time. I'm going to go on record and say yes. Um, they're going to push clean tech, of course. One day we're going to have an honest conversation about the EV space. It won't be this year. Uh, maybe <laughs> how many more years are you going to do the show? That last year, that last episode? <laughs> Oh, I'm going to tell you all some things about EV. But until then, Tesla, preeminent leader. You know whenever I say preeminent, I'm about to cape. Tesla, preeminent leader for sure. Um, but I think GM and Ford don't have the capacity nor the trust. Now, the only issue that Tesla has, well, not only, but one of the main issues they have is they don't have the best relationship with the White House. And the White House is trying to make sure, or the Biden administration is trying to make sure that he does not gain further dominance in the space. But um, overall, I don't see that many people wanting to buy electronic vehicles. And Teslas are having a big issue of, remember when we talked about this kind of prices? If you own a Tesla from two years ago, you're underwater. So imagine buying a car and driving it off the lot and you're losing $10,000 in value. But then two years later, your car is undervalued by $32,000. <coughs> it's amazing to be able to lay back like you in a Maybach and it drives itself. <laughs> um, but it's not good when your car is underneath that much. And like I said, Tesla has to decide if they're going to be a luxury brand or affordable because of inflation. Almost every brand on earth is going to have to move into the luxury space to be able to have enough money for R and D, have enough profit margin, hire employees and to be competitive. So I think we're seeing the, seeing the end of the era, uh, when we are having low price features, but if you look at Tesla over the last 10 years, return has been 2,434%. Hope for the long term, you'll be good. It's still one of my favorite stocks, still a top pick in Red Panda Stock Club. But um, most of the other players like Rivian, uh, Lucid Motors, they have not fared too well. Even though I do like the Rivian truck. When we was in Miami, I saw a couple. Right, of yeah. But, but yeah. I don't like the stock. Yeah, I, I don't know. About the, the the sector itself, I know Canada just made EV mandatory by 2035 uh, uh, today, which is yep. interesting. We've seen a couple of, of states here, but it's not on the federal level yet. Uh, I think the production is a, is a, is a part that people got to really take into account, right? When we're talking about the amount of vehicles that Tesla can produce, and yes, there, there has been an increase over the past three years, um, but on a large scale for some of these other traditional uh motor companies it's a fraction right and then you have new companies like rivian and we're you know we're celebrating a hundred thousand made it in a quarter and with and and it's no knock to rivian but the production when it has to be a large scale for for a mass uh around of people it, it just hasn't gotten there yet um yeah it's even from a tax incentive i know you know people who have gotten evs is this tax credits but depending on who's in an administration that tax credit could be gone I know it was like 7,500. There's some talks if there's some models you can get up to 10,000 in rebates. But December 31st of this year, that could change, right? Like it, it, you, you just never know. Um, and so the incentives to have it have been dwindling. Uh, so we'll see. I don't I don't know if it's dead. It has slowed down um, because Tesla is right. so far. They're so far in the front um, <laughs> that I'm not sure. I'm not He's sure. sick of y'all too, GM. I'm going to keep it a thousand. Listen. <laughs> Just what don't invite said. me to the Secretary of Defense <laughs> House or whatever the case may be. Yeah, what GM, said, man. you got to stop. You got Rashad sick of y'all and these hybrid vehicles. It's not hybrid. The woke agenda got them being He's sick of all EVs, man. and electric efficient cars. What? And Pick your charging high. stations. Sick of them all. Yeah, but I don't know if it's dead, but there's, there's definitely the excitement around it has, has changed and shifted over the past. Uh, I, I definitely over since the pandemic. When Tesla was a thing to have, and you saw a lot of those vehicles on the road, the excitement around it has changed substantially, I would say. Yeah, well, and we need less clout chasing in, in sectors as well. Um, if you're going to be now, that G, that Cadillac truck that I saw, not bad. Um, but we, I think we need not more innovation, but we just need better products and better design vehicles. That's the number one thing that is going to move the the litmus test on if people are going to buy it. Because Prius for a long time, it was economic, I mean, excuse me, eco-friendly. Most people don't even care about the environment enough to want to get anything EV related. When the tax sound, on it, it did sound good, though. And the, the commercials and the marketing was real colorful and it was nice. 
Yeah. But nobody really wanted to draw that. Let's be honest. Yeah. yeah. It's like when people say they're looking out for the culture, but like, bro, stand to look out for you. I'm going to stop. Okay. Top. Not you, them. Yeah. yeah. Got you. You know, but what do I know? 